How many people work on a modern day Call of Duty title? I suppose the answer is a lot. <laughs> When Call of Duty first started, there was this cinematic intensity of war and the recreation of historic events. And it was very different from other kind of first-person shooters at the time because it really kind of focused on that cinematic presentation as you would go through uh, and fight alongside your kind of colleagues. And um, at first it was a single studio developing in Call of Duty. As hardware has become more sophisticated and the projects have become bigger and bigger, there's been multiple studios that have taken the Call of Duty franchise and done projects with it. Uh, when Trout jumped in, it was every other year. Uh, and right now, uh, on this current generation of platform, uh, it's three years for a game development. So as such now, there's essentially uh, three primary studios involved in that, in that uh, cycle. They, the projects come out every year, and then it comes out on the third year once we've kind of finished. You've been down to Titan? The main change is just the size of the team and the, and the experience as well. Internally, it's kind of getting to north of 350, and that's excluding externals, that's excluding kind of contractors that kind of come in. Uh, there's so many different disciplines and, uh, and kind of groups. You know, you've got a programming department that's kind of broken into multiple areas with graphics and AI, gameplay. Then you have a design department, both build, the building of the world, and script, and that's the scripting and designing of the world. You have the art departments artists in there in terms of world texture artists, artists doing particle systems and other effects that are going on in there. You have an animation department, they do cinematics and AI. Uh, you have a sound department that does music and sound effects. QA departments, massive numbers of guys testing the game. Hey. So many people, so many experts in their, in their field. And so what started off back in the early days as being a 30-man team or a 15-man team, and now we're at you know, 300 plus, and, and to do that with 300 plus teams is scary, especially now as we have these kind of three pillars, so essentially three games in one. We have the, a massive kind of co-op campaign, a co-op experience with zombies, uh, and then the juggernaut, which is uh, multiplayer as well. So that's the number of people it takes to make three games in one. 